Poverty is the lack of food, clothing, proper shelter, medicine and other essential elements for a better survival in the world. It is also the assurance of having equal human rights. It is a worse condition without ethical rights and educational assistance. The poverty is ranked as one of the foremost problems of the India and one of the biggest hurdles for India's growth and development. As commented by Gandhi ji, poverty is the worst form of violence. Recently in 2013, the Indian government stated that 21.9% of its population is below official poverty net. In other words, India with 17.5% of the world's population had 20.6% of the world's poorest in 2013. A large portion of people in India live in rural areas. Poverty is deepest among the members of scheduled caste and tribe in countries rural areas. Poverty refers to a situation when people are deprived of basic necessities of life. It is often characterized by inadequacy of food, shelter and clothes. India is one of those nations which is facing this issue a lot. The growing population inflates the problem of poor techniques used in agriculture. India is mainly an agricultural land. About 80% people of our country depend on it, but the productivity level is very low due to subdivided and fragmented holdings, lack of capital, use of traditional methods of cultivation, illiteracy, etc. The widening gap between rich and the poor is also responsible for India's poverty. The rich are growing richer, the poor are growing poorer. This is because of continuous and steep price rise. It has benefited a few people in the society, but the people in lower income group find it difficult to get their minimum needs. One of the main causes of poverty is also the continuous expanding army of unemployed in our country. The job seekers are increasing in number at a higher rate than the expansion in employment opportunities. Our country's social setup is very much backward with the rest of the world and not at all beneficial for faster development. The caste system, inheritance law, rigid traditions and customs are putting hindrances in the way of faster development. These were only some of the causes for poverty in India. Let's get further into the topic by viewing the measures the government is taking. Poverty in India is like a disease that has devastating effects on an individual and his family. The biggest effect of poverty is poor health. Those who suffer from poverty do not have access to enough food, adequate clothing, medical facilities and clean surroundings. The lack of all these basic facilities lead to poor health further leading to malnutrition and prolonged untreated illnesses the occurrence of violence and crime is geographically coincident too due to unemployment and marginalization poor people often indulge in wrong practices such as prostitution theft and criminal activities such as chain snatching robbery etc sometimes even terrorism poor people are usually homeless they sleep on the roadsides at night this makes the entire scenario very unsafe for women and children Due to lack of money poor people suffer from a lot of stress which leads to reduction in their productivity thereby making poor people poorer poverty forces poor people to send their children to work instead of sending them to schools this is because the families fail to bear the burden of their child or children you might be surprised to know but among poor families children start earning at an average age of 5 years only Poverty also leads to high infant mortality rates around the country. Every year around 1.4 million children die before 5. This directly affects the economy of the nation in the long term. There are many measures that have been taken by Indian government to reduce poverty. They have used multi-pronged approach to tackle the menace of poverty. Some of the important measures taken to reduce poverty in India are first, Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bima Yojana. This scheme was launched in 2015 by the Ministry of Finance. It aims to provide financial security to the poor people. Any Indian citizen that falls in the age category of 18 to 50 years and with an active savings account can avail of this policy. Second, Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana. This scheme was launched in 2016 under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. It is a scheme providing LPG connection to women from below poverty line households. Third, Prime Minister Street Vendors Atmanirbhar Nidhi. This scheme was launched in 2020 by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. This scheme is introduced to empower street vendors by not only extending loans to them but also their holistic development and economic upliftment. Fourth, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. This scheme was launched in 2016 under the Ministry of Finance. 
many such measures are taken in order to empower poverty line households and reduce poverty in the country india a country which is playground to 472 million children it is very sad to know that nearly 160 million children are deprived from their childhood and forced to labor like wealth poverty is also passed on from one generation to another the lack of fundamental resources for survival leads children of tender age to this path despite of working really hard all the children get at the end is illiteracy and malnourishment in return of barely sufficient money children of age 5 to 17 are involved in numerous activities like bangle making rag picking trafficking crackers manufacturing so on and so forth the primary reason for involvement of young children in these activities is due to the lack of awareness in the mind of parents who avoid investing in education and skill building instead they employ their children at work expecting regular cash flow in house little do little do they realize that way more money could have been earned by their child had he or she been received basic education it must be brought to their awareness that child labor is not the solution but the cause of prevailing poverty in their community poverty reduction or poverty relief or poverty alleviation is a set of measures both economic and humanitarian that are intended to permanently lift people out of poverty poverty reduction is directly proportional to overall economic growth a nation's development in different regions and sectors occur due to reduction of poverty hence lifting the nation in overall reduction in poverty have numerous effects on a nation and its people some of the effects are stabilization in economy efficient management in nation's system health index mortality rate fertility rate reduction in poverty can be achieved by increasing investment in education health care and job training we can say that reduction in poverty plays a very crucial role in a nation's development and is something which cannot be overlooked the problem of poverty persists because of range of loopholes in the system the encouragement of non governmental organizations and private sector individuals in tackling poverty is imperative as the state cannot do everything alone poverty is means of social marginalization of an individual or group in a society rather than a decency of income to fulfill the basic needs economic growth will not reduce pover- poverty unless it is inclusive poverty allocation programs should address the issue of poverty from broad social e- and economic perspective the most recent make in india campaign of prime minister narendra modi is being foreseen as a sure shot method to eradicate poverty by giving employing employment opportunities to masses